It's No Money Spent episode four. We've made huge changes to the squad. We've also got all of our rookie premieres. Today, I want to go ahead and cover the entire squad and what we're looking like No Money Spent so far. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Snodzer, we're back with another video. And today, we're talking about our No Money Spent lineup as of now. I want to make this video because I know there's a lot of No Money Spent people out there. And I want to kind of compare teams with you guys. What's your guys' No Money Spent team looking like? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to show you guys where I'm at and the direction I want to go going forward. But before we go into this, if you guys are new right here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Throw a like on the video if you're enjoying the No Money Spent content. Also, Underdog Fantasy, if you guys want to support the channel, that is the best way to do it. Underdog Fantasy right here, if you use code SNODS, they will double your first deposit up to $100. I've got my picks here. This is my season-long picks for the NFL. we got the NFL season coming up here very, very shortly. So we're going to be able to make a lot of slips. I'm making slips every single week. If you guys want to see what those slips look like, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I put everything out there. If you guys want to do exactly what I do, if you want to do the opposite, it don't matter to me as long as you guys use code snods at checkout. If you're looking to build that coin stack and get the best team in mud, be sure to check out MMOEXP.com. Build those coins. Build your squad. Be sure to use code snods at checkout to save 5% off on your order. Link will be in the description down below. All right, so no money spent. What's the lineup looking like? Our level right now, we're at season level 11. We have 265,000 coins. We had about 410 before I spent coins on the squad here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So here we are. We have all of our rookie premieres in here. We had 11 total. I did not get all 32. We don't have the Aiden Hutchinson, but huge improvements to the team here at quarterback. We've got CJ Stroud. I was really excited to get this card. He's actually got the same release as Joe Burrow. So if you're trying to buy Joe Burrow, cause we've heard a lot of people say that he's the best quarterback in the game. If you got CJ Stroud, go ahead and sell Burrow because CJ Stroud is almost, I mean, he's probably a little worse than Joe Burrow, but he's got the same release and he'll work for you guys just for now. Our backup is Bryce Young. We can't quick sell this. We can't sell this card. So this card's just kind of chilling here. It's always going to be here. Uh, he does get an upgrade. So we'll have to see uh, between the two. I know CJ Stroud's got the better release, but Bryce Young He's been playing decent for me as well. He was my starting quarterback for the five games we played. We're three and two so far, so he's decent. I haven't played a game with CJ Stroud yet though, so we'll see. Going to our running back position, we're still using the 83 overall DeAndre Swift. I think this is gonna be our running back for some time. Even the 83 overall is really, really nice. I like what I'm seeing from this guy. Um, let's take a look at the card. Speed wise, he gets the job done. Honestly, 82 speed right now is going to work out. He gets the job done for us. He also has 70 catch, which is pretty good for a running back in the early stages of Mutt. And I mean, I throw, the, I throw to the running back a lot. So DeAndre Swift is perfect for that. I've got Frank Gore back here as our backup. You can get him through the captain's field pass. Um, I haven't upgraded him at all. I pretty much just throw him in there as a fullback sometimes. So yeah, Frank Gore, he's, he's horrible. Even max out at an 85, he's 79 speed. So he's he should never be anything more than a fullback. Going to our receiver, we've got the pre-order 85 overall, Justin Jefferson. This is turning out to be pretty much my best player. He's absolutely disgusting on the field. I'm sure the Sauce Gardner is good too, but I just feel like a wide receiver is going to have a much bigger impact in the game. Going over to wide receiver number two, we have Rasheed Rice. I haven't played any games with this one yet, so we're unsure of how this guy's going to play. Um, him and Marvin Mims, I feel like are pretty similar. Compare the two here. They have the same speed, same jumping. Uh, as far as catching goes, it goes to Mims by two. Catching traffic goes to Rice by two. Like they're all, the, the stats are really, really close and almost the same, but it's good. Having 284 overall wide receivers is going to be clutch. I don't have to spend a lot of coin on that. So that's awesome. We're working on that Odell Beckham. He's still at a 78. Apparently they've fixed the coins. They haven't been working for me. So if you guys know a solution to that, let me know. Uh, going to our offensive line, I paid for two of these guys. Coins, not points. These guys, both of these 80 overalls. I feel like 80 overalls will get the job done. I don't want to spend too many coins on our line here. Um, eventually these will be BND players that we can get through solo challenges and stuff like that. We just have to be patient and wait for it. Uh, we got 81 Kevin Mawai, 
Really good card. Elijah Vera Tucker. You can get him by doing the headliners solos. So get those tokens through the headliners field pass to get this guy upgraded up to an 84. So we're still working on that. This guy does a great job. We got rookie premier Dewan Jones. Obviously, he's probably our best offensive lineman right now. Love to see him over there. We got Darnell Washington. Darnell Washington was this supposed he was supposed to be the the next Donald Parham, but in my opinion, I feel like size isn't as big as it was in previous games. So, yeah, he's still 6'7", 270 pounds. I still think beyond that, he's a pretty good card. He's got 80 speed, 84 catch, 84 catch in traffic, and 85 spec catch. I do think that this card is still going to get the job done, especially for no money spent people. Before we go to defense, as far as abilities goes, we haven't really found an ability that's worth paying for. Um, this early on in the mud stages training is it's expensive it's very expensive and i don't want to pay for an ability unless i know for sure it works so i'm going to sit back for a little bit longer and see how the game plays see how things adjust and then we'll try to figure out some abilities for our offense going over to defense we'll start with our corners at corner we got the dj turner rookie premiere i was really excited about this card his speed um in the regs attributes were really really good he was like the second or third fastest half or uh, cornerback in the game and he's coming out with 84 speed i thought it would be like an 85 somewhere around there but this card is still really good it's gonna get the job done going over to cb2 we've got julius brents love this card he's been playing really good for us uh bigger body he's 6'3 198 really good speed i thought he was gonna get really bad speed because his 40 time was not the best but just as fast as that DJ Turner, and he's a little bit taller. So honestly, I like this corner a little better. And then our CB3 is JC Horn. You can get this guy just by doing the headliner solos. So be sure you guys do that. Also, this left end that I got, I still can't pronounce his name. Um, you can get him through the headline headliners field pass. So make sure you guys are getting your free cards. This is no money spent. BND cards are huge. Going down to our defensive line, we got nothing crazy here. We have Trey Hendrickson at right end. I literally just bought him. Um, he, he's nothing special, really. We don't have any crazy abilities yet, so I'm just kind of squeezing people in that are elites. Uh, Devon Gadcha, I don't know how to say that last name. We got him in the loyalty rewards. Dexter Lawrence, I don't use a second defensive tackle, so this position will never be filled. Left in, we got that OG. We're just gonna call him OG. We got this as a free BND card just by doing the headliners. Field pass. Defensive line definitely needs work, but it's just enough, just good enough for now to get us by. Up to our free safety, we paid for Jesse Bates. We found him in the market for like 40K. Jesse Bates, I feel like plays really well in this game. He's been good for us. Big fan of Jesse Bates. He's always been pretty good in every mutt. Um, he's been good for us so far. So till, till we get a BND, we're going to hold on to him. Going over to right outside linebacker, we've got Dre Greenlaw. Again, this was just kind of a filler piece. We just went out in the market and got us an 82. He does his job. He's just good enough. Middle linebacker. We don't really use a lot of middle linebackers. So we just got this junior Seau from doing the legend solos. And then we paid for Anthony Walker. Over to left outside linebacker, we still have Demarcus Ware out here holding it strong. This DeMarcus Ware card has been really, really good for me. He's nasty off the line. He seems to always get to the quarterback first whenever we're blitzing. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this DeMarcus Ware, and I do not regret this pick at all. But if you guys selected like Darrell Revis, how's he doing for you guys? It seems like he's a smaller corner. Um, I know I said earlier size doesn't really matter in this game, but how's he been playing for you guys? And then last but not least, that strong safety we have our user, Eric Berry, at a maxed out 85 overall. This guy has been nasty for me. I love using him as a user. He's at our sub linebacker one position. He's been nasty, good speed, gets some picks for us. He's perfect for a user. And then at strong safety, we've got another one of our rookie premieres is Jai Air Brown. He's gonna be playing the free or strong safety position for us. He's been good. 84 speed, 84 acceleration. We like what we see there. He's got 83 man coverage and 80 zone coverage. That's good enough. You'd like to see the coverage threshold at 80 or above and Jair Brown's got both of that. As far as improvements, what we want to do here, I want to improve my linebacker core a little bit more. Um, beef up this line a little bit. I'm going to wait a little bit longer until we get uh, some pass rushers that can get some abilities. I feel like that's pretty important. 
Um, corners, I think we're good for a while. Offensively, I think what we need to upgrade is uh, probably a running back, another running back. I want to get another tight end. And I want to get like a really good receiver. I always like to have that one over the top receiver. Justin Jefferson is good, but after I think another week or so, he's going to start becoming washed out and he's not going to be the best wide receiver in the game. But yeah, guys, that's the lineup update for no money spent for. Let me know in the comments, what overall are you right now? We're at an 81. What are you guys at? as a no money spent team but that's gonna be it for me boys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did throw a like on the video i'm out of here peace